Now, according to the World Health Organization, road traffic crashes account for nearly 1.3 million deaths and 15 million injuries each year. Now, these figures are expected to increase significantly to a staggering 30 million deaths and 500 million injuries each year in the next decade. Now, these are very unacceptable figures. As a consequence, the United Nations, the World Health Organization, and various stakeholders came up with a global plan in 2021, which is a decade of action on road transport safety, planning from 2021 to 2030. In other words, by the end of 2030, the target is to reduce death and injuries from road traffic crashes by 50%. Now, to achieve this, the global plan is a call to action to all stakeholders such as the government, the employers, road transport operators, road users to ensure that road transport safety is actually a shared responsibility, encourage the implementation of safer system designs on road infrastructure, vehicle designs, ensure that road users understand their roles and responsibility and demonstrate good road safety behavior and most importantly to ensure that there is effective post-crash response. Again, the plan is seeking to ensure that the focus on improving road transport safety becomes an ongoing process for the foreseeable future. Now, if you're a health and safety professional, it is important that we ensure that organizations that are dealing in workplace transport, whether logistics or whatever mode of transport, they implement an effective road transport safety management system to ensure that we're able to reduce road traffic crashes to the barest minimum to support this global plan. So this ushers us into our road transport safety auditing tool, which is a unique template for conducting audits on road transport safety management system against a standard criteria. So I'm going to be showing you what this template is all about. First and foremost, we have our table of content that shows all the various sheets within the workbook. So this is just to give us an overview of what the template is about. We have our approved list of various root causes, which we are going to be using in the template. So we have our action priority, which is high, medium and low. Action status is open and closed. So these are just list of parameters that you're going to be using in the template. Now we have our scoring criteria, which is based on compliance, opportunity for improvement, minor and major non-conformance. And here are the definitions and actions that you need to take. All right. Now we have our audit checklist and there's the main standard criteria of the road transport safety management system, where we are looking at policy, responsibilities, safe driver. So these are all the arrangement for ensuring safe driver, arrangement for ensuring safe vehicle, arrangement for ensuring safe journey, safe contractors, in a sense that their company should be able to have control over their contractors, right? And again, safety rules, emergency measures, risk management, fatigue management, training and education, evaluation and improvement. So that is following the entire, you know, element of a management system with specific focus on road transport safety. These are where you provide all the responses or the audit findings. So if you have minor and major non-conformance or compliance, it's all going to calculate automatically here to provide you with a score. So you have the option to actually provide your expectations, provide better clarity to these questions, provide your audit evidence to support all these responses or findings all right now we have an audit summary which is basically the summary of all the findings within our checklist and this is just to help us to ascertain the compliance level to compare it against the target which is 100 percent now this section is password protected and is basically just for calculation and you have no business here now this is the corrective action plan sheet and this action plan is basically looking at the fact that it is registering non-compliance whether whether major or minor automatically as you provide those responses here. For example, if I get rid of these responses, which is a minor non-conformance, and you go on the action plan, you notice they get removed automatically here. So if I bring, you know, the responses back, then they're going to populate. So you have the option to actually select the root causes from the drop-down list, corrective action plan, I mean, the corrective and preventive action, you provide them as well, the responsible person, target date, days due, action priority, you provide that. And if the action is open or closed, then it's going to populate the due days, you know, it's going to be tracked. Now we have an audit report, you know, template, which you can actually use to put together your audit report. But you may also use your standard management system document, which is your template in your management system, right? Now this actually the dashboard and this dashboard is based on the various sections of the criteria so you're looking at policy responsibility safer driver safer vehicles fatigue management and and so on so these are actually the slices that you can use to drill down or could actually click here to clear the filter now this is looking at 149 audit questions 65 compliant 25 major 
59 minor and no OF final. At the end of the day, you have an overall score of 78%. So when you carry out an audit, it is important that you are able to estimate the percentage compliance score. And that is very, very good because without a score, you cannot really tell how well the organization performed, right? So these are all the individual reports that we use for the dashboard. You can actually use them for your internal reports by pasting it on any Word document or a PowerPoint. So you have you know, percentage compliance for the various sections. You have count of findings for both, uh, for all the findings. So compliance, minor, major, NCs, and OFIs. You have the audit findings, the sum of all the findings. So sum of compliance, sum of minor, NC, major, NC, and OFI, and action status. So that's how exciting our template is. The, this template is simply plug and play. All you need to do is just, you know, um, provide all these responses and all the non conformance automatically get transferred onto this sheet. And you can actually use this to, you know, filter out because usually it's going to look something like this. And I need to just filter out the blanks and provide all your responses. Okay. So thank you all for your attention. In case you are interested in this template, all you need to do is come over here, come to the middle section of this website, click on the file right here. It's going to open this page and then you can actually download it. All right. So, um, Basically, we want to ensure that organizations put together a robust through transport safety management system and a system for carrying out audits on these systems to ensure continual improvement. All right. So thank you all and meet again soon in another video. Bye for now.